Going deep in meditation, sitting underneath a tree. Letting go of all desire, entering tranquility. Hi, I'm Buddha Dave. Let's have a cup of tea and talk about why people don't get results from their meditation practice. In my experience, there are three reasons why meditation doesn't give any result. And I'm speaking from experience here as a meditator myself. I often wondered, why am I practicing? Why doesn't this seem to be leading anywhere? Why aren't I getting the results that I read about in the books and like that? So there are three main problems. The first and one of the most common problems is mixing different teachings. If you're mixing a little bit of yoga, a little bit of Tai Chi, a little bit of uh, New Age grab bag philosophy and a little bit of the Buddha and this and that, well, you're not going to get anywhere. And I'll tell you why. Each of these things is a system. It has its own methods and its own aims. Usually it has its own philosophy and its own tradition, its own culture. Uh, if you try to mix them, then who knows what the result is going to be. Uh, we, in India we used to call this Kichri Yoga. Kitchery is a dish that you just take everything that's in your kitchen and throw it in a pot. So if you're window shopping, looking at different traditions, trying this and trying that, you're not going to make much progress, if any. Maybe you'll even do something so bad, it'll set you back. It's possible. So think about it. Before you can make real progress in meditation, you have to make a commitment to a path and a teacher. Someone who can show you the example of the perfection of your practice. Another reason people have problems getting results from their meditation. Well, let's assume that you're practicing the Buddhist path now. But really this has applicability to a almost every path. The problem is not following the precepts, not following the rules and regulations. In the Buddhist path there are five main rules. No killing, no stealing, no sex, no lying, and no intoxication especially the no sex rule, celibacy, is very, very important for spiritual progress. I know from my own personal experience, if you're not following celibacy, you're not really going to get very far, or your progress is going to be extremely slow. It's going to take years for you to reach even a beginning level of proficiency in meditation. We don't really have that much time. Of course, there are more precepts, there are always more rules that you can follow, but those are the five main ones. And now the third reason, and probably the most common and most subtle reason why people don't make progress in their meditation practice is that they have not duplicated the teaching. Well, what do I mean by that? Again, talking in a Buddhist context, the Buddha left literally thousands of sutras of his teachings over a 45-year period. And of course they're mostly in the Pali language. Some of them are in Sanskrit, some of them are in Tibetan. But to get the real benefit, you have to make an exact copy of those instructions in your own mind. This is a fundamental issue in learning everything. Anything you want to know comes from some source material and then you have to duplicate that source material and create a model in your own mind of how it works. If you can do that successfully then you can practice on the same level as your teacher. Now I'm not just blowing smoke here. 
I recently started Buddhist meditation practice and got almost immediate results within just a few weeks. But I know people personally who have been practicing the same thing for years and not gotten the results that I got. What's the difference? Simply that I know how to duplicate instructions. And we have a video about that. It's called Science of Study. Please watch it. Because it'll change the way you look at learning. Uh, learning how to learn is the most important thing that you can teach yourself. Once you learn that, you can learn anything, especially meditation and spiritual life. These things are very subtle. In fact, the highest results of spiritual practice can't even be expressed in words, but the methods sure can. And by duplicating those methods precisely and following them exactly, you're guaranteed success and results. What happens if you don't duplicate them or you don't follow them? Well, who knows? The result is undefined. So if you really want success in your practice, try to learn how to learn by duplicating the original teachings, not somebody else's interpretation, not some contemporary New Age version. Go back to the original books. I recommend even learning the original language at least enough to verify that the translations you've got are correct. Then you can be sure that you're using the right technique and you can be certain of getting results in your meditation. May all beings be happy and well. May all beings eliminate the obstacles in their spiritual path. May all beings attain enlightenment.